Hi everyone! For those of you who don't know me, I am Miss Hu, your physics teacher. In this video, I'm going to show you the experiment to determine the center of gravity for a plane, lamina, or in other words, a 2D object. For this experiment, you will, of course, need the 2D object, which in this case is a piece of cardboard. Now, if you don't have cardboard and you have a piece of paper, that also kind of works, but it's just that with a thin piece of paper, it's a little bit more difficult to determine where the center of gravity is. It's easier if you have a thicker piece of paper. So in this case, I have a piece of thick cardboard. Try not to make it too thick as well, because if it's too thick, it's going to be really difficult to run the experiment. So not that thick, just thick enough so that it's sturdy and uh, it won't flap and fly away as you're trying to do the experiment. We're also going to need pens or pencils, a ruler. If you don't have a meter ruler, that's fine. A normal ruler also works. Scissors, something that acts as a plumb line. So it could be a string tied to a sharp object just like this. So this is our plumb line. Now, if you don't have a plumb line like this, you can just tie a piece of string to any object to pull the string down because we just need the plumb line. So the plumb line basically is an object that is being pulled by gravity and the string shows us where the vertical line is relative to the gravitational field. You will also need some string. You don't need a whole spool actually, just a short, you know, a short length would do and a retort stand. Now, can you do this experiment at home? Yes, you can. Even if you don't have a retort stand, you just need something that has a rod that sticks out just like this because you just need something from which you can hang the plumb line and hang your piece of cardboard from. To punch a hole, you can also use a pin. So for this particular experiment, I'm going to show you how to determine the center of gravity for two different shapes. One would be a triangle. Another is just a random blob, which I'm going to draw on a cardboard. So I've got a piece of cardboard here. And because I don't really need the whole piece, I'm going to cut this in half. Half of it is going to be used for the triangle. And the other half is going to be that random blob. Now, to conduct this experiment, what we're going to do is we're going to need to punch holes as close as possible to each of these uh, vertexes on this triangle because what we're going to do is we're going to tie a string and we're going to hang this from the retort stand. So that's what this pin is for. I'm going to punch a hole through and that's where we're going to hang the string from. So we just need a short length of string. We don't need to use a whole spool, just a little short one so that we can hang the cardboard from the retort stand easily. Make sure that the hole is large enough for the string to be able to go through. Okay, so once you have that through, just tie it so that it's able to hang freely. And we're going to tie the other end over the retort stand. Just going to bring it closer so that you can take a look. Now you don't have to tie it so tight because you're going to take it down eventually. You're going to take this plumb line as well. And we're going to hang it in front of the cardboard triangle so that both hang freely. What you want to try to do is you want to try to get the plumb line to line up in front of the triangle without touching each other so that this plumb line runs directly in front of the hole where we've hung the string of the cardboard from. You don't want it to touch each other because you want to be able to see where the plumb line is directly in front of the triangle. Because if they're touching, it could be um, an inaccurate position. You want to try to get them as close as possible without touching and observe where the plumb line is in front of the triangle. Now using a pen or pencil, preferably pencil, I know I'm using a pen, do as I say, don't do as I do. Make a marking at the bottom of that triangle on the opposite side of the hole where this vertical plumb line is hanging from. Because what we want to do later is we want to connect a line from the hole to this point to indicate that's where the plumb line 
was hanging in front of the triangle as if they're hanging freely just like this. Now we're going to repeat for the other two edges. So now that you have all three markings based on the three positions where you've hung the plumb line from, what you're going to do next is you're going to connect lines from the hole to the opposite edge where we've made the marking. And remember that these lines represent where the plumb line was hanging in front of the cardboard when we were hanging them with a string. Now, if you have conducted the experiment correctly, you will find that all of them will intersect at the same point. Ta -da! Now, even if you end up not getting them all to intersect at the same point, even if you get a little triangle, just get the middle of that triangle and that would be the center of mass for that object. In this case, if all the lines intersect at the same point, this is the center of mass. The smaller the triangle, the more accurate it is. The absence of triangle means this experiment is accurate. Now, if you would like to confirm if this is really the center of mass, it is so simple. Just get an object like your pen, and try to balance the cardboard triangle at the point where it intersects and see whether it balances. Okay, I'm terrible at this. You know what? I'm just going to balance it on my finger and see if that works. Ta-da! It does balance! And that's how you determine the center of mass for a cardboard triangle. Now, to determine the center of mass for a random blob, you do the exact same thing as you did with the triangle. But this time, because there are no you know, vertexes just like the triangle, what you do is you create three holes that kind of form a triangle on the random blob. Now, in theory, you could probably take three holes that are side by side, but the problem is that won't give you such an accurate result. So a more accurate result would be if you could get the three holes that are far away from each other as possible, meaning they form a triangle on this random blob. So that's what we'll do now. Now try to get the hole to be as close as possible to the edge. So in my case, I've made three markings that are a little bit far. I'm going to ignore them and just put the holes that are really close to the edges. So I'm doing this so that I can get the string to go through the hole more easily. So once again, once you have all the markings that you've made from the plumb line, connect the markings to the hole, not to the dots. Um, although I've made dots here, I didn't actually punch the holes there. Make sure that you connect the lines from the markings to the holes where you've hung the string from. Now in my case, you can see that my lines don't intersect at the same point. We've got a triangle over here. So the center of that triangle is where the center of mass for this block would be. So once again, to kind of test it, you can try to balance it on a sharp object. Although I pretty much am not very good at balancing stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to balance it on my finger and see if that kind of works, which kind of does. So yeah, that's where the center mass is. So I hope this video is helpful in helping you figure out how to conduct the experiment to determine the center of mass or center of gravity of a 2D object whether it's a triangle or a random block. Happy studying!